Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So I've actually had a couple of people ask if I could share some of my favorite makeup products and how I store my makeup. Um, and I actually got a couple of new makeup products and I realized I needed to do a declutter of the makeup that I have. I also really needed to declutter and clean out my linen closet and my bathroom is a disaster. So I thought I would make a video encompassing all of the above. So it's going to be a makeup collection slash declutter slash declutter my linen closet and clean my bathroom with me video. So I hope you guys like this kind of thing. If you haven't already subscribed I would love if you would consider subscribing on this channel we talk mostly about perfumes but we also do a little bit of home decor minimalism uh, lifestyle and those kind of things so if you're interested in that then definitely subscribe and without further ado let's get started okay guys so as you can see my bathroom is not very tidy and clean it's a bit of a mess um, just worked a night shift I didn't really sleep a lot today I've just been very tired today went to the gym came home washed my hair all of that kind of stuff um, and the bathroom does need to have a good clean and a good organization. And also in the shower, I have too many shampoos and conditioners. I do need to go through and declutter or like transfer shampoos and conditioners into different bottles. I have way too much stuff sitting out. It just stresses me out when I see like 10 different bottles of shampoo. Why they accumulate like this, I will never know. I do not know where these shampoo angels come from that just keep putting it in my bathroom. I need to change the garbage, I need to clean the toilet, and when it comes to the vanity, the vanity is kind of a mess. I do usually like to go through and give my vanity a good clean at least once every couple days. I hate having a dirty bathroom. I like to have a nice clean everything really, and I also hate having like splotches on the mirror that drives me crazy. And I have had a couple of people ask if I could share my makeup collection slash how I store it, and I have done a couple of makeup collection videos in the past. Um, but I don't do a lot of fancy makeup, you guys. I'm a very simple girl. This is all my makeup here. I have a couple of new um, makeup products. I have like an almost empty sunscreen, stuff like that. I just have to go through this and get rid of ones that I don't use. Like I have random eyebrow stuff. I have random mascaras. Some of them are probably old or expired. And I also have to go through my makeup brushes because I don't use all of these makeup brushes. In fact, one of them I absolutely hate, so I never use it. So I do have to go through my brushes as well. And coming in here, this is also kind of a disaster and driving me crazy. So I have, I don't know how it gets so messy. I really don't. I thought I was a cleaner human being than this. Um, so I have to clean and organize this. This Usually I don't have cotton balls just sitting out here. It's kind of a mess. And then again, with the ridiculous amount of shampoo and conditioner, I don't know where they come from. I don't know why I have a cup in here. I just, yeah, needs to be organized. So first, why don't we do the makeup declutter and then we'll actually clean the bathroom up. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Also, I did get a couple of new nail polishes. Not these ones, sorry, those are just my base coat and top coat. I got this one. I'm really excited to um, use this one. I just picked this one up tonight. Actually, it's called Cashmere Wrap and it's by CND Vinyl Lux. I'm not sure what that is. I've never heard of it before, but I'm really excited to try using that. So after I get everything cleaned, that's gonna be like my treat to myself. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and redo my nails. All right, um, so first, why don't I show you the new items that I got? So this is an eyebrow um, palette from Lise Wattier. I don't usually do my brows every single day. I don't really like a harsh brow. I like a very soft, natural brow. I like my whole face to be soft and natural to begin with. Um, but these looked really nice. So anyways, I'm gonna start using this one. I actually tried it and I did like it. I also got a couple of new foundations and these are just like drugstore foundations. Um, I have a really hard time finding like the perfect color for myself. I have been matched, so-called matched, at Sephora a couple of times and both times they were not even, not even the right color. So, and it's very difficult these days to try on different makeup because they won't let you do it and it's just like, it's such a pain. But actually, um, what I have found is I'm actually quite neutral, I've realized. I do have some yellow undertones, but I can also get away with a little bit of a pinker undertone. So actually both of these work pretty well for me. I've used this one before. This is the CoverGirl um, Simply Ageless. I really like this one. It's very moisturizing and it's a nice, um, it's got like pretty good coverage. And then this one here, this um, Dream Radiant Liquid from Maybelline. I like this one as well. So we're going to hold on to those two. This is the Makeup Forever Professional Ultra HD, listen to me, I sound fancy, um, in the color Y205. And 
The girl at Sephora told me that this was a pretty good match for me and honestly it's a little bit too light. It washes me out a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it aside for now. I don't really like how it looks when I wear it, which is unfortunate because it did cost quite a bit. So for now, I'm gonna put this one aside. And as you guys know, I wear sunscreen every single day. Most of you probably know that. Um, it is the only thing that I wear every single day without fail. Sometimes I wear makeup on top, but every single day regardless, I always, always wear sunscreen. And I've tried a few different ones for my face. This is my favorite one. This is the Aveeno Sensitive Skin for Face SPF 50. It is a mineral sunscreen. It doesn't burn my eyes. There's no chemicals or anything like that in it and this is my favorite so I'm almost out of this one and then I just got myself a backup this is a contour kit from Smashbox and it's pretty good again I don't do a full face of makeup I don't contour a whole lot um, but this is a really nice palette so if I ever do want to contour um, this is a good one to have so I'm gonna keep that this here is like a priming powder from Alima pure it's in the color pistachio if any of you guys watch Gabriella Francesca she's the reason I bought this actually um, it's just a really nice like green powder and it actually is really, really nice for priming your skin. Sometimes I just wear this instead of wearing makeup in general. And so I do really like this. So I'm gonna keep that and use it up. My favorite uh, lip balm, I'm gonna hold on to that. I have one blush. I don't wear blush all the time. I have kind of a natural rosy um, glow to my cheeks to begin with. But this is the Butter Blush from I think Physicians Formula. And it's quite nice. Um, it's a really nice shade of like a light peachy pink. I have my favorite drugstore concealer. I've used this one um, for quite a while already and then this is a new one and um, I'm not even close to being out of this one actually. I still have quite a lot of both of them left but sometimes I will just wear sunscreen and then concealer and that's it. And I really, really like these ones. They're also like a perfect, I'm so, oh my God, my veins look so disgusting because I'm so hot right now. Um, but yeah, this is a perfect match for my face. So I absolutely love these. If you're looking for a really good drugstore concealer, I really like this one. This is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Concealer and it is in the color um, porcelain. So it's the lightest one that they have. We have an eyeshadow palette. And again, I don't wear eyeshadow every single day, but this one's quite nice. I especially like that neutral color. So we will hold on to this one. I also have this one from Almay and this one is a little bit more light and neutral. It's a very pretty like shimmery, taupey kind of a palette. This is like my ideal um, color palette. I really like that color there. So we're gonna hold on to this one as well. Eyelash curler, we're gonna hold on to that. I have this um, face primer, poreless putty uh, primer from e.l.f. And it just looks like that. And it's pretty good, I do like it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. It is pretty nice, I do like it. Um, I don't use it a lot because again, I don't do a full face of makeup very often, but we're gonna hold on to that. Because I don't have very many primers. I also have this one. This is the Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser. I really like this actually. I've purchased this a couple of times in the past and I really like how smooth this makes my face look so I will be keeping that one. So these are from Laura Mercier. These are two eyeshadow pencils and I don't ever, or eyeshadow sticks or crayons, I never ever use them. So I have a really light kind of a beige one and then I have like a shimmery brown one and I don't use either of these you guys. It was such a waste of money and I think each of them was like $20 or something and I don't use them. Like why do I do this? This one is quite nice actually. Let's just see here. It's quite a nice light shimmery taupey color. I just never ever use it because I don't do my makeup enough but I do like this one more than I like this one, so I'm just gonna get rid of that one. So now we have an eyebrow product, and this is from Benefit, I believe, and this is the Brow Micro Filling Pen, and this is what it looks like. It looks like this. It makes really fine little strokes, um, and it's in deep brown, which that is my hair color, but I really don't use it, and I don't love the way it looks when I do use it. So brand new, beautiful eyebrow pencil. Cost me like $30 or something, and again, I'm gonna have to declutter it. I just need to quit spending money on makeup essentially you guys because I'm such a simple person and I just don't need all that fancy stuff like yeah I don't know. This is one of my favorite um, eyeshadow, eyeshadow brushes. I'm gonna keep this. I don't know why it's in here. We have a black eyeliner pencil. I don't usually do 
eyeliner with a pencil. I prefer a liquid eyeliner if I'm going to do an eyeliner. Um, so I think I'm actually going to get rid of this. Then also from Alima Pure, I have this little powder foundation. And this is in the color Neutral One. And again, I purchased this because of Gabriella Francesca. She was using this to do her makeup one day and her skin looked absolutely flawless. And I haven't even really given this a chance to try wearing it. I've just kind of like swatched it on my hand, so I'm gonna keep this. Then I have from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I have a eyebrow palette and I do not use this. Um, yeah, so kind of expensive. It's, it's a real shame, you guys. Like I really should quit buying stuff, but anyways. I'm gonna get rid of that. We have a pencil sharpener which always comes in handy. I'm gonna keep this because just in the event that I do have a some sort of a eyebrow pencil or something. We have a clear and a black eye eyelash glue and I'll keep this because there is the odd time that I get the urge to put on lashes. Not very often but if I do I want to have some glue available so we're gonna hold on to this. Then I have not surprisingly three different um, mascaras. For some reason, I love picking out new mascara. I am forever going to the store and picking out a new mascara. The Maybelline Colossal Volume has proven to be very good for me. The L'Oreal Luminous Original has also been very good. I'll show you what this looks like. Looks like that. Um, yeah, it's a nice fat brush. I really like the nice thick brushes. And this one is my more expensive one. This is from Lise Watier, and this is the Element Fiber Volcanic Minerals Mascara. And this one is quite good as well. It's got a really nice thick brush on it and I love this. I got it from Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, I'm gonna keep all three because I actually don't think any of these are expired and I wear mascara every single day. So I definitely will go through those. Okay, so now I'm gonna declutter my makeup brushes. And like I said, you guys, I'm a very simple girl. I do not need 5,000 brushes. I'm really envious of people who are good at makeup and know how to do like certain looks and they have like a different brush for everything. I'm just so basic, I don't do that. This is the one I've been using for my foundation. It's the RT200, uh, whatever. I don't care for this because I find that I have to, oh, I still have eyeshadow on the thing. God, that's good eyeshadow. It doesn't go disappear. Anyways, I find with this, I have to really rub a lot and I don't like it. I feel like I'm always like rubbing on my face with it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna just wash this and give this away to somebody if they want it. Give it to my daughter maybe. This is the one that I picked up tonight to do my makeup with instead. And this is from Quo. And this is just a diffusing, um, diffusing foundation brush. So it's very, very soft. And it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be really nice for like an airbrush effect, which I really like. I just like something very soft and gentle that doesn't feel like it's pulling and tugging at my skin. I just absolutely love this, the way this brush feels. It's extremely soft, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. Um, let's just keep them in here because I don't want them to get dirty. I do have a couple of eyeshadow brushes and I use these consistently all the time when I do wear my eyeshadow. I use this one to apply in like my crease and then I use this one for more of like all over kind of thing. And so yeah, those are the two that I like so I'm gonna keep those. I have this and this is supposed to be a blender for my eyeshadow and I honestly don't really ever use it and I can't see myself using it. I think I'm just gonna stick to the other two that I have so I'm going to donate that one. This is a contour brush. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be a contouring brush. I don't actually care for it. I never ever use it. I don't do like harsh lines or like, I don't, I don't know, I just don't contour all that often and even if I did, I'm not very good at it. So this is totally wasteful. I don't need it. I have this big fluffy brush, which I actually do like if I decide to put like a finishing powder on, which isn't very often. And even for that, actually for that um, Alima Pure Primer, I like this to apply that primer actually. So I'm gonna hold on to this brush. This one here I was using to apply bronzer. I think I'll hold on to it because I don't have anything else to apply um, blush or bronzer. So we'll hold on to that one. I also have a little spoolie brush. These things come in handy all the time. By the way, excuse my calluses. That is because I go to the gym and lift um, very heavy weights. So my hands are always both very calloused. <laughs> but yeah, these spoolie brushes really come in handy. When I used to have false eyelashes, like um, eyelash extensions, I always needed a spoolie brush. And these are just great for getting out clumps and your mascara, whatever. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And this one here is just a little teeny tiny brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this one is really good for doing eyebrows so I do like this one. Little tweezer. I always use a tweezer all the time, so that's gonna stay as well. So that looks a lot better. Um, I'm much happier with this amount of brushes, 
and we are going to get rid of those ones. Okay, so let's tackle this shampoo and conditioner disaster. I'm really ashamed of myself. I don't know where they all come from. Ugh, so stressful. It's because I had a bad experience at the salon and then to try to fix everything the salon did, I had to buy like 10,000 different products and I just don't need them. I don't know what's going on here. So this is um, a bath oil that I like to use all the time. Actually, I'm gonna keep this because as you can see, I have been using it. This I believe I was using to rinse my hair. Um, sometimes I do an apple cider vinegar rinse. I was especially doing that to help with like scalp health and I do actually still want to do that in the future. That's why I bought this stuff, so I think I will keep it. Those are both really good moisturizers and I will keep them. This is a brass banisher. I got this because when I had my bad experience at the salon, they made my hair quite red. It turned like quite reddish, brassy-ish, but it's not bad right now. And to be honest, I don't wanna put anything else on my hair. I don't want to apply any more color or anything else. So I'm just going to give this to somebody. I don't know who's gonna want it, but um, I don't need it, so we'll get rid of that. I have these two um, shampoo and conditioner from Kalia. I don't know if you guys have heard of Kalia. If you are familiar with Holistic Habits, I love her channel. She is the reason I actually purchased these. Um, again, just for scalp health and overall hair health, and I just really wanted to um, nourish my scalp and use natural products and stuff like that, so I will use these. I really like them. Um, I've just been kind of using other shampoos, as you can see from my shower, but I'll definitely keep these ones because I really like them. I'll go through and organize this after. For now, I'm just gonna worry about like what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. This is a John Frieda Go, Go Blonder Lightning Shampoo. I certainly don't need this. I'm not blonde. Nobody in my family is blonde. I don't know why I bought this. I think I bought it because initially when my hair was so dark, I thought this would help lighten it, and it probably would because I think it has peroxide in it, um, but I just don't need it. I have this Wonder Water from L'Oreal. This is supposed to be really nice to um, give a nice shine to your hair. I literally have not used this since I purchased it and I do wanna use it. I'm going to hold on to it. It was expensive and I think it'll be really nice. Again, I have a silver hair mask. These are designed for people who have like gray hair or blonde hair and you want to just cut any brassiness. And again, I don't have blonde hair. Nobody in my family has blonde hair. Why did I purchase this? God knows, I don't know why I do these things. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Flint brush, very important item. I'm definitely gonna be holding on to this, but it does not belong with my shampoo and conditioner. So Old Spice body wash. I actually really like men's body wash. My boyfriend and I sometimes use the same body wash because he prefers the men's, and I personally don't care. Like, I don't care what my body wash smells like. I just wanna have a clean body, and I actually really like the way this smells. I'm obsessed, of course, with smell, so I, mm, it smells really nice. <laughs> I like, um, I really like the way men's body care products smell. Oh, they smell so good. So I'm gonna hold on to this obviously because he will use it when he's here and I will use it as well. This is a nourishing hair mask from AG. I really like it. It smells like lemon cookies or like lemon cu cupcakes and it's very, very nourishing and very nice. It was also quite expensive. And so yeah, we're gonna hold on to that for sure. We have anti-static spray, which is a must. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to that. It just doesn't belong with my shampoo and conditioner. So I have a number of shampoos and conditioners that are not salon quality, and I'm not really picky, to be honest. I prefer salon quality, but I'm not that, that picky. As long as something works well for me and I like the way it smells and it makes my hair feel nice, I'm really not that picky. Um, but we're gonna keep these because obviously shampoo and conditioner is something that you're gonna go through all the time. My daughter uses it, I use it. Um, so I'm just gonna organize them a little bit better, but we are gonna keep these ones here. And then we also have, um, Matrix Dark Envy Hair Mask. This is really awesome for brunettes, especially if you tend to pull red. This just completely neutralizes all of the red that is in your hair. It's amazing, I've used it before and it's actually really, really good. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to that. Brass Toning Purple Conditioner. I don't think I really need this because I'm brunette, I don't really have any blonde in my hair. I don't intend to put blonde in my hair. Um, it just doesn't work for me. It damages my hair, whatever, so. Even though this is brand new, I'm just gonna give this to somebody who can use it. We have the Matrix Dark Envy Color Obsessed Shampoo. I really like this as well. It just has a little bit of a green hue to it. And again, it neutralizes um, red tones. So I'm gonna hold on to that for sure. I have Joyco Color Balance Blue Shampoo. Again, this is more for people who have like orangish or yellowish tones. This is not really for people who have red tones in their hair. Um, but it can't hurt, you know, I don't think it's gonna hurt. And it is salon quality, so I'm gonna keep it. 
And then I have a Joyco Color Endurer Conditioner. So this is great. I'm definitely going to keep that. It's a really nice salon quality conditioner. So let, now let's go tackle what's in my bathroom. Okay, so this is what I have here. I have the K-Pak Joyco Reconstructing Deep Conditioning Treatment. I actually love this. If you guys have ever used the K-Pak from Joyco, let me know. It's amazing. It's probably one of my favorite, favorite hairlines out there. Love it. So I'm going to hold on to that and I'm going to keep it in the shower because I do use this about every third or fourth time I shampoo my hair. And currently the body wash that I have for my boyfriend when he comes here is the Method Men Sea and Surf. I actually really like this. I like it for myself too. It smells really fresh and clean. So we're going to hold on to this one. We also have this body wash and this is actually a mishmash of two body washes combined together, which is why it looks totally disgusting. But that is my daughter's. That's the one that she uses. So I'm going to leave that in there for her to use because she does need a body wash of some sort. And we have the Matrix Total Results Color Obsessed Antioxidant Conditioner. This one is actually getting close to being empty, so I'm going to leave that in there. And again, I was just really trying to use healthy products, and that's actually a really, really good um, conditioner. So we'll leave that. And I also have the Joyco Color Endure Sulfate Free Shampoo. This is a really, really good shampoo. I'm going to leave this in here as well. I've been using it. And then we have another shampoo and conditioner, and these ones are my daughter's. So. This is not all K-Pak. This is a little bit of K-Pak, but it's also other shampoos like combined in one. I'm gonna leave that in here for her because she does use it. And then this is, an, again, a mishmash of conditioners. She can use that. I'm gonna leave it in here. And the head and shoulders, um, it doesn't need to be in here. This still looks like a lot of product to me, but I guess it makes sense. Like there's a place for it. Everybody uses it. Um, but yeah, this doesn't need to be in the shower. I do sometimes use head and shoulders if I feel like my hair color is too dark and I want to lighten it a little bit because this does help pull color from your hair. Um, yeah, so I'm going to hang on to this. I'm just going to put it in the closet. And we have a little helper. Pyong Chang has decided to grace us with her beautiful green eyes and her presence. She loves sitting in the linen closet. The linen closet on the towels is her absolute favorite place. <laughs> what are you doing, kitty? Hmm? What are you doing? You can stay there for now. Okay, so I'm not gonna take you guys with me to go through all of these things. I'm essentially just gonna clean it up, put the cotton balls where they belong, organize it, and I'll quickly show you the finished result once I'm done. And in case you guys are wondering what I use to clean with, I pretty much always use the same thing. I have been using this for a really, really long time. This is a homemade cleaning solution, and all it is is water, vinegar, tiny bit of 50% alcohol, rubbing alcohol, which doesn't do any kind of disinfecting. It just helps the water evaporate quicker and gives things a nice shine. And then I also put a little bit of thieves oil in here and sometimes peppermint oil. And I just usually do that for the smell. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. This gets everything so nice and clean and so shiny and it's very inexpensive and then I'm not wasting a whole bunch of plastic. But um, this is definitely not intended for disinfecting. So if you're gonna use something for like colds, viruses, flus and stuff like that, this would not be your go-to. But it does do a really nice job of cleaning everything else. So I decided I'm actually going to declutter these two colors because I don't think I'm going to use them that often. Um, it was kind of an impulsive purchase. I'm just going to give them to my mom or my daughter or whoever wants them. So then all of my nail polishes will fit in the tray nicely. And that is about the finished look. So it's nothing special, but this is so much more organized than what it looked before. And yeah. I think that's about it. I'm just going to quickly maybe go through here and organize these towels a little bit better, make it look a little bit more presentable, and then I'm just going to clean the bathroom. So that is the organized closet. It's nothing special. This is not like, you know, magazine worthy or anything like that, but this is definitely a lot more organized and it stresses me out a lot less looking at it. And then up there we have a spare pillow and we have a little bit of spare bedding um, just because I use my silk pillowcases now. So I do have like a couple of extra things here and just a um, sheet that I'm not using currently. But yeah, other than that, we don't have anything like additional in our linen closet. So I'm really happy with this. And usually what I like to do is keep the toilet paper holder like full of toilet paper just for my own peace of mind. I don't know what it is, but I like seeing a full thing of toilet paper, but obviously I need to go shopping and get some more cause I'm running out, but that's that. So now I'm just going to give the bathroom a quick clean and then we're done.
Okay, so this is my decluttering pile. This is all the stuff that I was able to get rid of. Um, honestly, I can think of a lot of people that I know, friends and family members who will probably put all of this stuff to use. So this will be no problem. I will find homes for everything. And this is my clean bathroom. It's nothing special, but it looks so much better. Basically what I went through, I didn't bore you guys with um, cleaning the toilet, but I did go through and clean the toilet myself. Um, I also hung up my towel behind the door. I gave the tub a nice one over with a cleaning and yeah clean the mirror and just put everything away excuse my pajamas um, yeah and the sink area is a lot more tidy by the way I don't really like the way these look on the back of the toilet this is my hair straightener and my blow dryer but my boyfriend likes them to be accessible and we don't really have a ton of room underneath here for those items I would like to go through and like simplify that a little bit and maybe start keeping the blow dryer and stuff in a drawer. But for now, they just kind of sit on the back of the toilet because they're easily accessible for everybody. And yeah, that is about it for the bathroom. So you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this little clean and organize with me. I really love organizing and cleaning and decluttering. It really puts me in a better state of mind and makes me feel more at peace. I'm so much happier with the way my bathroom and my linen closet look now. If you haven't already, feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.